on the picture. There we go. What's going on, friends? Rich Discovery is coming at you with a little roadside find here. Um, that's not nothing too crazy exciting, but I thought it was cool. So there's one little feature. As you can see, it's what's left of oh, just an old barn. No big deal. Now, this barn was complete up until we had those big tornadoes, or that big tornado, rather, earlier last year. Uh, anybody who watched my channel for a while remembers I went out and documented a bunch of damage from those tornadoes that hit. It's a couple small ones. But uh, this was one area that got it. As you can see, this barn got it as well. But the reason we're here is not because of the barn itself, but look what's in front of it. This old, uh, it's almost like a mining cart track. Right in front of it. And it goes all the way down. Now... I don't know what it was used for, but whatever this barn was originally was probably from whatever was over here. If you look over here, you can see concrete foundation right there. So whatever was there, they used to use a little cart to bring the stuff over to here. I thought it was kind of neat. And it kind of disappears there. Whoops. There we go. And it kind of disappears into the brush. But it's it's here. So I don't know what it was for, what it was used for, but it's it's just really neat. A little old piece of history sitting right here on the side of the road. Saw it for a while, thought it was really cool, and just wanted to come check it out. Unfortunately, I can't find any dates on those tracks. I don't think they have tracks like the train tracks that were made. But otherwise, it's just a really old barn. A lot of old stuff inside it, old wood, who knows what that was for. You can see the back of it, it's just, I think the back of it was pretty well shot and rotted. It's the front half that fell off in that storm. I'd really like to know what they did here. What went on these tracks, you know, what it was used for. Come over to here, you can see, it just kind of ends right there. I don't know what that other foundation is for. Like what was there. It just goes into it and then stops right there. But either way, like I said, it's nothing too crazy. Just thought it was kind of cool looking. Anything old like this I like. Just never realized it had a track in front of it until the other day I was driving by and I said, huh, look at that. Let's get a closer look at the track here. You can see how long it's been here because there's stuff that's growing in it. Yeah. Now they cut down all the shrubs around it or the trees growing up around it rather but you can see it's definitely been there for some time Get that stuff growing up and then all the woods rotted too but I don't know just thought it was kind of neat like I said just a little roadside little roadside find here I can't get the back off <laughs> kind of cool looking we'll back up get it from the side here maybe we'll even use that for the uh for the thumbnail with the track in front of it and just the destroyed barn what's left of it pretty neat but like i said just a quick stop not going to do too much with it let's see what else we got over here on this side Looks like there's some old heating or ventilating ventilation pipes in there those might just be uh resting here i don't think they're actually hooked up to anything here there could have been a heater at one time who knows I don't know. I just thought that was cool. So we'll probably wrap it up there. Like I said, I don't really know the history behind it. I just thought it was kind of cool. It's a cool looking spot. I've been driving by it for a while. And now that I see the actual tracks in front of it, I thought that was really neat. I figured I'd make a video of it. So thanks for watching. I'll leave you guys with this. Moment of serenity while the water soaks into my shoe because I just stepped in a big puddle. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.